Hi. It is June. And it has been declared Happy Pride Month forever, which I hope it shall stay. Also, Texas has banned abortions past six weeks, which is usually really crazy to cut that off at six weeks because most women don't find that they're pregnant to at least nine to 13 weeks because of hormones and mispariods, like me, I'm bouncing forth, so whenever. So, this month is Pride Month, and we're gonna kick off with whatever. So, I identify as a female born, continuously happy to be a female. Mm, I guess, Genderly fluid, but I'm asexual. But I'm the type of asexual considered a demi, which means that I can have and will use sex or have sex as pleasure, but I don't get ranty. So that is what my identification is. I can't tell people how to live their lives or to come out or not come out, but you know. Hold on. It's personal. See, people think asexuality is this, this scary thing, and it's not. It's just you prefer to couple with people, but you don't believe that SEX is the most important thing. Like, someone who's prone to take care of you when you're sick, or help you when you're hungry, or bathe you when you can't get up, or, um, Things like that is intimacy to a lot of asexuals. And there's some people who have to have sex on a daily basis to feel connection. That's something I don't understand, but I can't down it. So today is Pride Month. Whether you participate fully, while you support or ally, or if you haven't exited out of the closet yet or came out as anything you feel, there's no pressure to you. You as an individual must choose the time to do what you like to identify yourself. And at any time, you may choose to identify what you feel comfortable. That's the point of choice and being a human being and how it works. We don't choose to do this. We are this. And nobody is broken. We need to come together as a society as just creations of whatever God or whatever suspicious thing made us this way, whether it's from design or evolution or we're all here. And if we know what to do to fix the problems, why aren't we doing that? That's a question I want you guys to ask yourself. All month long, but I bought this way back when I was um, celebrating... <clears throat> What we, we, we went to Six Flags, and we well, I got these so me and my husband would look good, but I got these also because I am asexual, I'm part of your rainbow mafia, I am part of the Skittles family, and you know what? Oh, is it upside down? Sorry, you guys. What day is it? It's Pride Day, of course. It's every day's a Pride Day. I hope to goodness I can at least catch one Pride Parade. I have yet to see one because normally on Pride Parade days I was working full time jobs so I never actually got to see them just on you know TV and things like that or when they publicized it on the media. But I would like to actually go to my one and wear my gray and demi um, weird seafoam green colors that it is because I have a husband that supports me and I support my husband and that's the way it is. And I have people I know that are into things like furries. I have people close to me that are lesbians. I have people who are close to me that are transsexuals, people I've worked with. And there's so much. And the reason people don't understand the rainbow, it's because it's, it, it doesn't... The rainbow is, is for everybody can get along if you just stop judging everybody. If they're doing it, okay, if 
you're judging people of a different sexuality identity of how they live and choose things, but we're not blaming straight hetero people for what they choose to do and live by, but they're charging us with all kinds of stun stuff. Remember, no matter your gender, no matter your religion, no matter your color, no matter your identity, no matter your persuasions or kinks or non-kinks or non-binary efforts, whatever your furry endeavors are, it doesn't matter. Just remember, the rainbow means something particular. We are all human and we all have a different spectrum. It's just a spectrum of light shining at the right time with enough molecules in the air to make a rainbow if you want a scientific notation of what it means. But if you want a representation of what it means, it means shut up, get the fuck along, and let's go. Because everyone knows a rainbow is not an arch. If you Google that shit, a rainbow makes a complete circle. It's like a circle, okay? It's like a circle. It's a Chuck and Larry thing, okay? It's like a circle. Ooh, it's like a circle. So, it's time to unpack and unwind. We need to understand, our past does not make us who we are at this moment. Ten years from now, do make us the same, won't make us the same either. We grow as different people, we grow as individuals every day. We witness things that we wish we could see again, and we witness things that we could, wish we could never see again. We have identified as so many different things that people forget to identify as humans. And I want to thank you, as long as you're not molesting, raping, trafficking, hoarding, and hurting women, men, or children, and they're all included. All race, creeds, colors, and everything. As long as you're not hurting people, open up that door, baby, and please let your flags fly. Fly your flags as much as you want, as long as they are colorful and they don't hurt other people. What somebody does behind closed doors is not anybody's motherfucking business. Yeah, you see what I did there? Mm. Business. If they don't pay your bills and they don't clothe you, they don't feed you, if they abuse you sexually, if they abuse you physically, if they abuse you mentally, if they abuse you emotionally, then you need to find a way to run. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's gonna happen because it took miracles. And I'm agnostic. Sometimes people believe in God. I believe in people hear things that you say out loud in your head and they hear it and they just are drawn to you. And you might call that godly, you might call that miracle. I call that humans finally tuning into one. I believe humans have frequencies and they find each other through frequencies and even though that frequency might match you and it might be very, very good for you to feel that frequency, not everybody who matches your frequency actually should be with you. You should not light yourself on fire for others to feel warm. Do you understand? Okay. So just the only attention people want from you is that negative attention for a fight. I'm not saying turn the other cheek. I'm not saying say anything. I'm saying just, you need to understand. Eleanor Roosevelt said, you do not have permission. Listen to this. Eleanor Roosevelt was pretty good for her times. Go look at this up. She said, you do not tell your haters and anybody who treats you like crap. You do not have permission to hurt my feelings. Because you don't matter. And you have no power over you. This is a straight fact. 100%. People can say what they like, when they go. Like, but you don't have to have their words give you power. You can let it hurt. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be mad. But it's not okay to hurt people's feelings. It's not okay to damn people to hell when they've never hurt you and you're screaming about it through television screen and calling them names, which I will not do slurs today. Because today is a beautiful, 
beautiful June thing. I wanted to wait till today to do it because I had my birthday on the 28th and there was Memorial Day on Monday and everyone was doing their June stuff. So I wanted to wait and do it now because I put another video out talking specifically about furries and how people will accept certain things but they won't accept furries. So please go check that out as well. Then I did another one about my birthday blowout, whatever, and you fight like a girl. And then I did another one when I was talking about Apple's supplies, about good deeds and how people will turn that down within a middle second of thinking. So we're going to apply that in the moment. I'm dressed brightly in my overalls. Let me show you my outfit. It would be a beautiful Pride Day outfit. Look at the shoes I got for my birthday. And I got this outfit for my birthday. Where did I get it? I got most of my clothes. Actually, 100% of the clothes that I'm wearing right now, I got at Rainbow. Yes. I shop at Rainbow because I'm a size freaking two and I can't help it. You know, I can't go shop in a 40-year-old section with my... Hello? I'm I'm wearing only a little of this right here. I have no foundation on today. I'm wearing that weird pinky chapstick that, like, changes mood color. It's like chapstick that changes color. No eyeliner today. So, I mean, I have a little powder on. Oh, fuck it. Who cares? Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm 40, bitch. But this is what we're doing for Pride Day that I'm doing. I wanted to be seen, so I look like a traffic cone, and of course I've got this. Happy LGBTQ plus mom. What day is it? It's it's June. What day is it? It's June. What day it is it? June. What are we doing in June? Declaring beautiful happy Pride Month. So if you want to come out, come out. If you want to stay closed, you know what? Stay close. If you want to get lit, let's get lit. Let's get lit. Let's get lit. Let's get lit, 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 lit. Okay? So I love everybody so much. And I want you to know. Be kind. Rewind. Remember, words have power. But you don't have to give anybody permission to make you feel bad about yourself and I'm aware I've made people feel bad about themselves and I'm a horrible person for that so I understand what it feels like as well everybody's guilty of making other people feel bad about themselves no matter what even if that person deserved it even if they didn't it's called a conscience and my conscience has always told me it's okay to hurt if you feel that you need to snap it off. And it's okay to cut off if something is toxic. And it's okay to love everybody, even if they're different. As long as you're not hurting someone else or forcing it upon others, raise them flags. You can see, upward. And I'm out. You guys, I love you. Happy Pride Month. And remember, Peace and hair grease on your nut sack. Keep your cheeks tight. Don't let that meat low. And I will see you next time on Heather's Haul or Heather Die Tries. And remember, this has been 13 Minutes with Heather. Love each other and let them flags fly. It's Pride Month, bitch.